hi everyone and welcome again to my video and for today we will be having the measures of central tendency for group data last meeting we had the ungrouped data but for now we have the grouped data and this is still the module of the week and we are still having the two objectives in this part so the measures of central tendency as i have said earlier there are three aspects the mean the median and the mode so it differs from what we have discussed last meeting in terms of formula because mean we use this formula x bar equals the summation of f x all over the summation of f for median the formula is equal to the lower boundary of the median class plus yeah, the summation of frequency divided by 2 minus the less than cumulative frequency all over the frequency of the median class times its class interval. While in mode, yan siya, the lower boundary of the modal class plus the frequency 1 minus frequency 2 all over 2 times frequency 1 minus frequency 2 minus frequency 3 i. And, ayan yung mga meaning nila. Problem number one. Below is a frequency distribution table of the scores of 50 grade 7 students in mathematics in a 40-item test in statistics. Complete the table and compute for the value of the mean, median, and mode. Ayan. So, we will complete first the table before proceeding to the different formulas on how to find for the mean, the median, and the mode of group data. Kaya siya tinawag na group data kasi may class interval siya. Parang ganito. Kasi pag ungroup lang, yung normal lang, yung parang ginawa natin last lesson na nagbilang lang tayo kasi konti lang yung involve na numbers but for now we involve a greater frequency or the greater numbers so we use group data the first thing we need to identify is for the class interval what is the class size or class interval so ayan 40 to 44 35 to 39 30 to 34 25 to 29 20 to 24 15 to 19 10 to 14 ayan so we will identify the class interval or your letter i or yung size niya which is 5 Bakit 5? Oh, for example, dito, 25 to 29. So, mayroon kang 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Mayroon kang limang numbers na nandito sa interval na to. That's why 5 yung nakalagay. And so, with dito, oh, 40 to 44, 40, 41, 42, 43, and 44. Ayan siya. And itong frequency given and what we're going to do is to find for the summation. When we say summation, total sum. So, 5 plus 6 plus 8 plus 12 plus 10 plus 6 plus 3, you have 50. Now, ito na yung class mark. This class mark will rely on the class interval. Tignan mo yung nasa middle niya. Tignan mo yung mean ng dalawang ito, 40 and 44. 40 plus 44 divided by 2 that's 42. And you will do it to the other class interval. So, 35 plus 39 divided by 2. That's 37, 32, 27, 22, 17, and 12. Now, if we are done with the class mark or the X, let's proceed to the next column which is your FX. FX meaning you are going to multiply your F and the X. The column for F and the column for X. So, 5 times 42 you have 210 6 times 37 is 222 8 times 32 you have 256 12 plus 27 you have 324 10 times 22 you have 220 and 6 times 17 102 while 3 times 12 is 36 now we are going to get for the summation of your f of x because that is what we need in finding for the mean. We have 210 plus 22 plus 256 plus 324 plus 220 plus 102 plus 36. You have 
the summation of f of x is equal to 1370. Take note of that. And now for the lower cumulative frequency or the lesser than cumulative frequency, since your frequency, total frequency is 50, ilagay mo dito yung 50. And then, pag less than, meaning magma-minus ka pa baba. Pag greater than, pataas naman yon. Pero, we need a lesser than cumulative frequency. So, 50 minus 5, you have 45. 45 minus 6, you have 39. 39 minus 8, you have 31. 31 minus 12, you have 19. Minus 10, 9. Minus 6, 3. Pag nag-equal na dito, tsaka sa part na to, meaning correct na yung ginawa mo. And now for the lower boundary. Lower boundary dito ka magbabase sa smaller number dito sa class interval. So yung 40. Magmaminus ka lang dito ng 0.5 pati dito sa mga part na to basta kung sino yung mas maliit na numero magma-minus 0.5 ka kaya nito 40 minus 0.5 you have 39.5 35 minus 0.5 34.5 and you do the same thing with the other class interval and that's it we are already done with the completing of tables now, let's proceed to the formula, finding for the mean, median, and mode. The first thing we need to find is for the mean. So, using the formula, x bar equals the summation of f of x all over the summation of f, is substitute mo lang best. The summation of f of x, ayan siya, 1,370 divided by the summation of frequency which is ayun siya 50 so 1370 divided by 50 is equal to 27.4 that's for the value of the mean next we have the median the same table pa rin, and this is the formula now this time we are going to identify the median class Median class, meaning, tignan mo yung nasa ng class. Ayan, dito. Dito yung median class. Now, using the median class, let's substitute the following. For your lower boundary, ito, 24.5. For the summation of F, you have 50. Yung 2, constant siya. For the lesser than cumulative frequency, ito, which is 31, divided by... The frequency of the median class, which is ito, yung 12, times your i, which is 5. Ayon. And then proceed with the computation. 50 divided by 2 is 25. So, ayan na siya, na simplified. At 25 minus 31, you have negative 6. And then, ayan siya, negative 6 divided by 12 is negative 0 0.5, times 5, which is negative 2.5. Now, 24.5 plus negative 2.5, we now have the median as 22. Okay, so let's have the mode. In here, when we say mode, same with the median class, we are going to identify for the modal class. Kung alin dito yung may pinakamalaking frequency, yun na yung modal class. So, just like this, yung 12... Ito yung pinakama laking frequency. So, this is now your modal class. So, dito mo na ibe-base yung inyong formula. Yan, yung f of 1 is the frequency of the modal class. f of 2 is the frequency of the next upper class. Ito. So, dito yung f of 2. f of 3 naman ito. So, you have your f of 3 as 10. Basta mag-substitute ka lang and then yung i is 5. Of course, your lb, ito siya. Now, the modal class is equal to 24.5 plus the simplified form of this is 4 over 6 times 5. Now, 4 over 6 is equal to 0 0.65 times 5. You have 3.33. Therefore, your mode is 27.5. Now comparing the results, your mean is 27.4, 27.4, 27.4, 27.4, 27.4, 27.4, 27.4, 27.4, 27.4, 27.4, 27.4, 27.4, 27.4, 27.4, 27.4, 27.4, 27.4, 27.
Mijan equals 22 and the mode is 27.83. As you can see, this is pare pareho, and we have discussed last lesson that the most reliable measure of central tendency is the mean. So, ako dito ako mas nagre rely. Okay, now it's your turn. Open your modules and do the activities assigned to you by your teacher. Thank you for watching and God bless you all. See you on my next video. That ends our lesson for today and I hope you learned something. So stay updated and do not forget to like, share, and subscribe and click the notification bell below for more updates and more videos. Thank you for watching. This is your teacher Aubrey signing off. Bye-bye!